you this is your girl hawaii nani coming to you with a updated brow tutorial and we're going to be doing um a tutorial on how i update my brows um for the most part i used to you know have them freshly done but um hadn't been able to do it in a while so <clears throat> what i'm going to do is just give you guys an ample uh, ample of easy time and how i do my brows now this is the disclaimer i'm not a professional on brows or anything and my brows does not always look sisterly all the time twins which is most common in most brows people have different shapes in their brows now what i'm going to do is just begin brushing my brows in the direction i will want them to be going and see my brows grow out pretty thick and spaces or whatever i'm just going to take a my concealer brush um usually i take one of the uh or the other brush to uh and some concealer and just go in and shape my brows up and then i'll take a um brow kit that i have from la colors and trace what um shape the brow is going in which the concealer is just a um a guiding point on how I want my brows to be shaped if that makes sense and also some of a highlight okay now I am just gonna give you another disclaimer again um, they don't always be on point they don't always come out perfect but I take my time and if I mess up I will mess that no um, I will correct that and like I said, I practice makes perfect, okay? And what I'm doing now, I'm really good at with shaping my right side of my face because you know I'm right-handed. But when it comes to the left side, it's just not as easy to do. My brow doesn't want to act right. Now, I'm just shaping the brow um, with the concealer that I'm using. I'm using a mixture of my BH Cosmetics Concealer, and I'm also using my e.l.f. Um, concealer in the pan, okay. It's uh <clears throat> close to time for me to get me a new concealer palette from BH or Coastal, I like both, okay. And I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do that. Like I said, they don't come out a hundred percent perfect, okay. This is not a, 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 you know, a contest for most women who try. Practice does make perfect, and I'm still learning, okay? Now I'm just going to take some more concealer on my smaller definer brush. And I'm just going to shape it up a little bit, the edges. Now, what brush I'm using to do my brows, it's just a, a Ally, it's Ally Express brush. And um, the kit is a brow kit from LA Colors that I showed you guys in the haul. And I'm going to use, today I'm using the black and uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to start from the edge of my brow. Kind of go in the shape I want it to go in. I'm just fill it in a little bit. Okay, just filling it in, giving it a little color, and I'm just gonna go and shape it up a little bit. Okay, now, um, don't want to make the tail too long, so I make it to where it's evenly that way, and I'm just gonna take that same. Uh, brush that I had and I'm just going to go back into the black brow powder I'm just going to fill it in a little bit okay. give it a little arch okay now I have a um, another easy way you can do it. Just kind of 
brush the powder on there. Taking my, you see the brush, going back into the. Now, if this is just too time consuming for you, Divas, there is uh, plenty of uh, Divas that do brows on the web, on YouTube, or whatever that may fit you know that may fit your criteria if you're not interested in how I do my brows but it's like I said I'm not professional I'm learning every day on my brows and I'm just gonna fill in I try to make them as nice as possible when I do my videos and as well as when I do my makeup and this is my updated brow routine Now, I do have concealer on my brows, I mean on my edge, and what I do after I've done filled in my brows, I'll take a, a wet wipe and kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm just giving a little bit more brow powder. Okay. And then I'll just take and uh shape it up a little bit more okay now we're gonna go ahead and start on the other eye which is nothing on it it's been clean and um these I uh, did share with you share with you guys the wipes that I use and these are the sensitive skin wipes from uh, it's like a cheap version of simple pretty good damn wipes to be honest with you I love them. Um, they don't irritate my skin, and they've actually cleared up my skin from all the other um, products that uh, made some breakouts or some skin irritations. So yeah, they've done a good job. Now I'm just going to kind of clean this up a little bit. Top. Okay. And don't worry, the makeup that I'm going to be doing is going to pretty much give that different look. Okay. So taking my brow brush here, and I'm just going to shape up my brow, taking a comb, kind of combing it, okay, I'm going to use the smaller brush, and this is just a, a cheap, uh, cheap uh, brush that I got from Dollar General, it was a dollar. I'm gonna do the same thing. At least try to do the same thing with this brow. This one here is a pain in my butt. Because it does not like to act right, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of going in the shape that I would like for it to go in. I'm gonna have to uh, touch up my concealer here. Now, Elf is still what I'm using, like I said. I use this kind of as a highlight as well as a uh, with my brows. It's really thick though. And I'm gonna just shape up my brows here. Taking same brush, I'm gonna clean it up. Just brushing it down. I'm going to take the edge of this brush, clean it up a little bit, now the next thing is to do, or if you chose to do so, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go back using the brush that I had, and I'm going to use the same brow powder of course, I'm going to apply that, filling that in. At one point, I hated my brows because I thought I had like manly brows and they were thick. I mean, not like overzealous thick, but thick enough for being a female and not feeling comfortable, if that makes sense. 
but I've grown to enjoy my brows as a girl and um not trying to be picky or anything but um I do keep them at least try to keep them arched um when I have that opportunity to do so um you guys have seen me numerous times have had my brows done and the lady that does them has a fantastic artistic ability in knowing exactly what I like about my brows she knows how to shape them perfectly and I leave there to be so smooth and so soft um I don't have any issues or anything she's like on my on my brows like three minutes and she's done um I used to go to her locally over here um but they moved it to the Walmart nearby which is not walking distance for me but it's <laughs> it's quite a bit of a it's maybe about a five mile five mile drive that makes sense okay now that here is what I do with my brows before I do my makeup I know most of you guys probably would wonder how I do my brows and I, I will was gladly wanting to do my updated brow routine because I hadn't put one out in a while I'm trying to make this arch here and it wants to be a pain in the butt Well, you're not going to get sister brows if you're just starting off. You're going to have to continue to practice on it. And the sand is not easy because you got to get the shape um, the exact way you do your brows. I mean, I usually line them up using this. But that's just time consuming. So I just try to go with um, my heart and find the solution that makes sense. Because like I said, you're not going to be... And it's, you know, perfect at it overnight. It's going to take some time to learn. Just like all the rest that did brows, didn't wake up doing it overnight. They learned, they had to practice too. And if they did with the gifts that they have, it's a blessing. Um, I'm not going to say that you can't do it because everybody has to try to accomplish something in their lives. Whether it be makeup, fashion, or whatever the case may be. I, I, I love it all. I'm a girly girl, but I could be a girly. I could be a tomboy too, cause I was I was a tomboy growing up. I mean, I wasn't into makeup then, but I liked the idea of doing makeup. I didn't talk about, it cause my dad was very strict on me about makeup when, when I was growing up, and um, wasn't allowed to wear it to a certain time. And when I was and got into it, I got into it heavily when I got older, because I was like I missed out a lot on the how to do the girly girl stuff like I wanted to, cause my dad was so overprotective about certain things and mind you my dad's strange but that's what I have to kind of say and that is another video so anyway um this is gonna be as good as this one gets today she may not have the perfect tail but she'll, and she'll fit in with the rest of the makeup okay just gonna clean her up right here now that's these eyebrows have not been arched. I just shape them up and try to keep them on task. Um, I'm not going to get 100% perfect eyebrows, okay? Let me clean this up a little bit here. And I just want to make sure you ladies can be comfortable with what you do and how you do it. Like I said, practice does make perfect. Practice, 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 guys. If you really want to get this down and get it on track, practice. Because, it's, like I said, it's not easy. I have really shaky hands sometimes and it gets aggravating because you know you're trying to do something and get it on point. It never comes out the way you want it to come out. That's what I'm saying. But... I'm going to go ahead and go. I have some tutorials i got to record. I apologize for this long uh, video. But I hope you guys like or enjoy what i got coming. 
Uh, so stay tuned and have a blessed day.